Hello everyone and welcome to The Safety Artisan. I'm Simon and today we're going to be talking about system of systems hazard analysis. A bit of a mouthful that. What does it actually mean? Well, we shall see. So, for systems of systems hazard analysis, we're talking about, uh, we're using task 209 as the uh, description of what to do, taken from a military standard, 882 ECHO. But to be honest, it doesn't really matter whether you're doing a military system or a civil system, whatever it might be. If you've got a, a system of systems, then um, this will help you to do it. So looking at what we've got coming up. So we look at the purpose of system of systems. And by the way, if you're wondering what that is, what I'm talking about is when we take different things uh, that we've de developed elsewhere, you know, platforms, electronic systems, whatever it might be, and we put them together usually with humans gluing the system together somewhere it must be said to, to make it all tick and fit together um, and then we want it we want this collection of systems to do something new to give us some new capability that we didn't have before so that's what i'm talking about when i say system of systems you probably i'll show you an example is, is the best way so we've got a couple of slides on task description a couple of slides on documentation and a couple of slides on contracting task 209 is a very short task and therefore I've decided to give go through an example. So we've got seven slides of an example of a system of systems safety case and safety case report, what I wrote. And hopefully that will illustrate far better than what we're, you know, just dis reading out the description. Uh, and that will also um, give us some issues that can emerge with systems of systems. And uh, I'll, I'll summarize those at the end. So let's get on. The I'm going to call it the SOCIA for short, okay? Systems of Systems Hazard Analysis. So the purpose of the SOCIA, Task 209, is to document or perform and document the analysis of the system of systems and identify unique system of systems hazards so things we don't get from each system in isolation and this task is going to produce special requirements to deal with these hazards which otherwise would not exist okay because yeah until we put the things together and start using them for something new we've not done this before okay so task description so, okay, yeah, as in all of these tasks, the contractor shall perform and document an analysis of the system of systems to identify hazards and mitigation requirements. And a big part of this, as I said earlier, we tend to use people to glue these collections, these portfolios of systems together, and humans are fantastic at doing that. Um, not always the ideal way of doing it, but sometimes it's the only way of doing it within the constraints that we've got. So the human's very important. So the human will receive inputs from one or more systems and initiate outputs within the analysis. And in fact, within the real world, to be honest, which is what we're trying to analyze. That's probably a better way of looking at it. And we've got to provide traceability of all those hazards to says architecture locations interfaces data and stakeholders were associated with the hazard and this is particularly important because with a system of systems each system tends to come with its own set of stakeholders its own physical location its own interfaces etc etc so the the issue of managing all of those extraneous things and getting the traceability 
uh, goes up you know it's multiplied with every system you've got in fact i would say it was it was you know the, it was the square of so uh, the example we'll see we've got um three systems being put together in a system of systems and you know in effect we had nine times the amount of work in that area i would say i don't think i think that's a reasonable um approximation so part two of the task description the contractor will assess the risk of each hazard and recommend mitigation measures to eliminate the hazards or very rare, very very often we can't eliminate the hazards to reduce associated risks um, and then as always with this standard it says we're going to use tables one two and three which are the severity probability and the risk matrix that comes with the standard unless of course we have created or tailored our own matrix um, which we very often should do but it isn't often done i'll have to do a session on how to do tailoring a matrix um, and then the contractor's got to verify and validate the effectiveness of those recommended mitigation measures now that's a really good point uh, and i often see that missed people come up with control measures or mitigation measures um, but don't always assess how effective they're going to be um, sometimes you can't so we just have to be conservative um, but um, it's not always done as well as it could be so let's move on documentation okay so whoever does the analysis the standard assumes it's a contractor shall document the results to include we've got to describe 